everyone. Thank you for joining me at Lori Houston Art. Let's go over the colors and get down to the canvas. Okay, our colors today are Dioxazine Violet Hue by Soho. And we have that all mixed up, ready to go. And then we have got Prism Pour. Violet Rose. A little bit left. One is Artist Loft Neon Violet. And mixed, I have Pearl Lilac mixed with Folk Art Purple Glitter Paint. I have Primary Elements, French Kiss and Fairy Wings. Next. Beautiful. All right, we're working on a 20 by 20 inch canvas. I've painted my edges with the Soho Dioxazine Purple, and I am going to be using Mandalama Glistening Gold, and I think it's Modern Masters, and it's a, a light gold, I believe. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna lay all the paints down and I wanna say happy birthday to all the February birthdays. This is an amazing gemstone. Um, I will show you a picture on what inspired me to use the gold um, in this um, painting today. Right now we're just laying down all the different shades of purple. This was so much fun. I really forgot about how beautiful uh, purple can be when you um, use all the different hues, shades. You know, there's a red purple, there's violet. Um, we have some with a little bit of yellow hues in it. It's just, it's just beautiful. Um, so right now, I'm just going to lay down all the paints, and then we're going to get set up. I am going to use just a basic white um, to kind of create some sort of depth before I swipe. So we're getting ready to lay the swipe line down and I am going to use, this is just actually Artist Loft, um, uh, Artist Loft white, titanium white. I'm putting a pretty thick line with a 20 by 20 canvas and as much paint that I laid down. I like to have enough to grab the paint. Um, with the colors being so similar, or in the same family, um, sometimes it can create um, not a lot of distinction when I'm doing um, the petals. So right now we are getting ready to get a piece of plastic and I love these plastic cutting boards. I get them at the Dollar Tree um, and I think that I first say, well, I'm going to use a paper towel. I get thinking about it and I'm like, ah, I think I'm going to use plastic. So let's get the plastic and um, we will see what we get here shortly. You, you've been hiding in the shadows way too long. You, always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong. Yeah, you better step into the light, just give it a try Think that it's time you let that spark out You've been hiding in the shadows way too long
Cause you're a work of art You, you should know that you are perfect with those Shadows way too long uh, 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 uh. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the amethyst. It comes in a pale lilac and lavender to deep purple and also purple and white. It's called the all healer of people, animals, and plants. It is believed to benefit migraines and headaches if you rub the forehead anti-clockwise having dipped the amethyst in running water. The zodiac sign for February is Aquarius, and there are fragrance, fragrances as well, almond, lavender, fern, and lily. So I saw the crystallized form of the amethyst, the amethyst that you see here, and you'll see gold at the very tip. And that's why I decided to add gold in this painting. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the um, this beautiful amethyst painting. We're going to create a flower pop for the February birthdays. Here we go. Okay, so I am speeding, speeding this up because I've decided that I'm going to do a bunch of flowers and add some vines. I think it'll look really nice. Um, these purples are just popping. I love it. I love the composition. Um, the background is perfect. You can see that I'm kind of creating the vine um, with the palette knife as we go through. And for the larger flowers, I'm using my stainless steel straw with the cake applicator tip or the frosting applicator tip on the bottom. And puffy, I'm using for the two and three small petals. Um, and I am using gold. I'm using this... Um, very, very, uh, it's like an interference gold. And I think it's going to really add some bling to go with the um, color art, the primary elements that are already in there. Um, I don't always uh, use a lot of paint when I'm applying it at the stem, at the point of where I'm putting the stem. Um, you can see it's a very small drop and um, I'm trying not to overpower these flowers with that gold. So that's why it just depends on the background, how similar the colors are, and that's what determines how I decide how much paint to create those petals. So if you have any comments, leave them down below, and I'd be glad to... Um, have you give me a thumbs up if you like this video and sub if you already aren't a subscriber and we are going down for a final quick wet results without the stems look at those flowers it is absolutely beautiful oh my goodness I am in love with the final results um, I couldn't be happier I don't do enough purple paintings. Um, this is just, look at that one. Oh my goodness. Absolutely stunning. I'm so glad I decided to do a whole bunch of flowers. Um, we will see uh, the vines here coming up shortly. Okay, it is dried and I have a very fine tip applicator bottle and I've thinned out the um, pale gold really, really thin 
so that it will um, create a very, very um, distinct vine. And right now I'm just going in and making the vines. And once the vine's done, then I'll connect all the flowers. But I, I really love the gold in this. And I love the way that it turned out in the final um, piece. I cannot wait to show you the end results for our February birthdays. That's so amazing. <clears throat> shadows way too long you always thought that you were weak but babe you're wrong yeah you better step into the light just give it a try think that it's time you let that spark out you've been hiding in the shadows way too long Cause you're a work of art varnished results. This is absolutely stunning. The colors are vibrant. It definitely represents the amethyst. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to show you some pictures of this beautiful painting on the wall. Thank you for being here. I appreciate all of your support. Hit that like if you enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment. And if you haven't subscribed, I would love to have you as a subscriber. I hope everyone has a great week. Take care. Till next time. You, you've been hiding in the shadows way too long. You, always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong.